Eunice to Tabaka. <laughs> Right, day four, we are leaving Cap Surat and we are hoping to get to, what, like Cap Negro, Cap Negro that kind of area, and then hit Tabaka tomorrow. Hello everyone, we are part way to City Meshreg. Let me turn the uh, kayak around so you can see it behind me. There she is. So we are going to hopefully find some lunch over there. I've got no idea how far away that is. We're very bad at distances. We made it to City Mashreg. Check it out. That is lunch. That's Dean. And that is a Roman aqueduct, for some reason, out in the middle of the sea. We're gonna go and paddle past that once we leave, but for now... Food? Yum yum. Yum yum. Welcome to another moment of hardship here on the Kayak to Tabaka mission. Uh, we've really been suffering today. What are we doing, Dean? And this lovely grilled dorad with oh. some frites and tun salad, Tunisian, some mashuea. Oh, yes. Enough bread to feed a family. We're gonna eat all of that. Yep. <laughs> we probably need to film less of this kind of thing and more of us actually kayaking and pretending it's difficult. Yeah. <laughs> we need more hardship, we've got to bear grills it, but for now, let's eat this because this is delicious. Yeah mate. Are you just filming right now? Yeah, okay. I've been filming for ages. Oh, Oh, you're not supposed to turn around. He's uh, doing some repairs on the sail with Dean. He's managed to get in a major knot. This is a great time to film because there's quite a high probability he's going to fall off. So, over there is Cap Negro, somewhere. Here's where we are. But yeah, we are hoping for the first time in a day and a half that we might get some wind. <sighs> Some guy came past with an outboard motor earlier on. It was very depressing watching how fast he got around the corner. Right, we are approaching Cap Negro finally. Right, we've arrived at Cap Negro finally. Oh. How was it, Dean? Uh, it was tough, mate. Another tough paddle. It was very tough, yeah. Thanks to Karen. Yeah. Like. Well, look, got some very fancy houses. Look at that, that infinity pool up there. Looking out. So we are going to go and grab a coffee in the main bay over here and then the hope is we can do a final 5k over to that beach over there and camp. But we're going to have to see what the wind and the current is doing because I don't think we want to do 5k like the last 5k we just did. Alright, the gods of wind have, have blessed us. It's just after 5. And we've got a bit of wind to carry us to our final beach which I'm not sure that makes up for what they were doing to us earlier on the last 5k but nice to know we're gonna have a little bit of help to get ourselves to our camping spot right we've made it to the spot where we are going to camp look at these dunes right we've made it to a campsite which is actually marked over here have a look at this there's Dean we've got the cabanas we've got like a restaurant up there some banging tunes coming out there um, we need to ask them what the deal is with the military zone. So we think there's a military zone just on the other side of this. Um, but we'll go and have a look, because if there isn't, we'd like to camp on our own, not surrounded by other people. 
Nothing like a bit of 50 cents candy shop to uh, add to the beautiful environment here. <laughs> Having to play it quite loud to drown out the sound of the waves, so that's, that's excellent. What is going on? <laughs> we made it to our final destination for today. We are just west of that campsite, which is about 5k from Cap Negro, which is over there. Paddling over is pretty tough, as you saw. Um, yeah, so this beach stretches basically all the way to Tabarka. So all we have to do tomorrow, I say all, is do about 15, 20k that way, and then we hit our final, final destination, which is La Cigale. So we're looking forward to a bit of luxury tomorrow night. Uh, tonight is our last night of camping. There's Dean setting up his tent. Uh, we're hoping it's not as windy as last night. Uh, and yeah, it looks like a lot of other people have camped. We know that there is a military site somewhere along this beach, but we're kind of hoping it's not here because a lot of people have camped. And there's also people camping like 100 meters that way. So yeah, let's see see what happens. Uh, and yeah, what a beautiful place to spend our last night camping. Look at, look at that. Right, we're off on our final day of paddling. 19 kilometers that way, past some military zone. Just gonna sort out the bunghole. Bit worrying to think that this is the only thing that keeps us afloat. This was actually taped up, but we untaped it so we could empty it every day. And then we found, what is this? This is like the top of a broom handle or something. Dusty's, uh, Dusty. yeah, hand yeah. shovel. Yeah, we stole, we stole Dusty's part of his uh, broom. And now you just put that there. And then that keeps us from taking on water. So attached to this string so if we got that caught against something while paddling that would come out and it would fill with water so it's good that that hasn't happened yet this is our daily routine emptying the bung hole getting all the water out from the day before a oh, bit of water in there today coming out the back all good good to go the world's tiniest scorpion can you see him you, mate. <laughs> wow, under my tent. That is very small. Like, can you put your hand next to him, Dean, for, for size? <laughs> Being careful, of course. Yeah, look, look at him. Look at his, look Ooh, at his tail yeah, there. Yeah. He's angry. Okay. Wait, wait. Oh, perfect takeoff spot. The majesty of nature. Oh, you got to get your wings out first, mate. Yep, that's one. Oh. Ooh. Do it, buddy. Come on, buddy. Come on, both. Yep, what? Ah, that was. Jellyfish. We are now down to the last 5k. We can see Lassigal, just where the jet ski is going. Lassigal's just above it. Oh, this is hard work. How are you feeling, Dean? Fine, man. Yeah, this is uh, exhausting. Right, we got good news and bad news. The good news is, we have reached La Cigale. What's the bad news, Dean? No room for us. There's no room for us. It's fully booked. So we're going to have to keep going around the corner and go to Hotel Ishmael and hope that they can take us with a kayak. How annoying. This is like the fourth or fifth time I've tried to visit La Cigale, and once again, I have failed. It's so close, and yet so far. We made it to Tabaka! Actually, the Tropica Hotel, because Lassa Gal wouldn't take us, but anyway. <laughs> we made it! Not quite Lassa Gal, but it'll do. There's the fort, and there behind me is Dean, swimming around. Very happy man. Oh. Absolutely exhausted. Time for some food. Right, this is us checking in, having just arrived off the beach in our rash vest. We're being escorted by security because uh, they're really freaking out that we arrived by the uh, by the water and not not normally by the car park. There's Dean filling out his check-in form while completely soaking. We're going to get this paper so wet. <laughs> right, just do what you can, Dean. Do what you can. <laughs> this is such a surreal situation. <laughs> 